Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome if you're new. In today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing the L'Oreal Paris El Vive Extraordinary Oil Cocoa. This is a multi-use balm with fine coconut oil, specifically formulated for normal to dry hair. I bought this thinking it was a hair mask and I believe that's one of the ways in which you can use it so that's what I'm going to be reviewing it today. I'm going to talk you through the other ways you can use this product as well as my final thoughts. So if you're interested to see what I think then just keep on watching. So this product I picked up for £6 and as always, whenever I talk about any specific products, I'll always leave them linked down below. I always try to look to see if they're available on Amazon, just because you get that next day delivery with Prime if you have it. So, before we get on to using it, I'm going to talk you through the instructions, because this says it's a multi-use balm, which is very different to other products that I've tried on this channel, so I wanted to talk you through how it describes the product, and then I'll talk about how I'm going to use it myself. So it says here, our multi-use balm with fine coconut oil and irresistible coconut fragrance works in affinity with the hair fibre from root to tip. Transform your hair into the extraordinary. Free-flowing hair with irresistible shine and no way down. First of all, I don't really like the smell of coconut. It, for me, I just get flashbacks to Malibu and I've had bad memories with that. So coconut fragrance isn't a particular favourite, but then again, if it's got coconut oil, what did I expect? So it says here, the multi-use tip. On dry hair, leave on for as long as it needs, from five minutes for instant nourishment to overnight for rich care. After shampoo, leave in two to three minutes on wet hair, then rinse for intensive nourishment. As a leave-in, focus on lengths and ends for perfect manageability and shine. Please think about your water usage whilst applying. For more hair tips, visit l'orealparis.co.uk. So, generally this sounds very similar to the Garnier ones that I've tried whereby you can use it as a mask, you could probably use this as an ordinary conditioner and also as a leave-in treatment too. So it does sound very similar to the hair food product that I've tried. And so today I'm gonna to use it as a hair mask. I'm really pleased that it describes the way in which you use it from putting it on your scalp to your ends, which is something I do in every single hair mask review. And I also always say leave on mask for as long as you can for a deeper treatment. And so I'm really pleased it relays what I've been saying on this channel. So. The longer you can leave on the hair mask, the more it does for your hair. It really is as simple as that. So I always tend to leave hair masks on my hair for the purpose of these reviews for at least an hour. The Philip Kingsley one that I use all the time as part of my regular hair care routine, the Elasticizer, I do try and leave that on overnight because I find that my hair the next day is so soft and shiny. I love it. So let's give this a smell. I'm not expecting to like this at all. Uh, no, I don't love the smell because it's coconuts. If they've got coconut oil in there, I don't know why they've added extra coconut fragrance because I feel like you'd still get the smell from the oil. It would just be a little bit more subtle, but there we go. So let's dampen the hair and we'll get on to applying this product. My hair is now dampened by using that spray bottle. I'm just gonna take my trusted wet brush. Again, this will always be linked down below. I love this so, so much. And I'm just gonna brush it through my hair and then we'll apply the mask once it's nice and brushed. brush my hair before I apply hair mask because if my hair does not then I like to make sure that's out before I apply product and then it sometimes makes it not even further so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply this product like I normally do as always I always mention that if you have thicker hair my hair is pretty fine even though I have quite a lot of it however if you have thicker hair or your hair is just generally there's like a lot more than what I have then you can section your hair and work your hair mask in that way I basically like to do the good old 
scoop and um, apply like this and I just make sure that my hair from both sides is fully saturated so I will massage this in from root to ends just to make sure my entire head is covered and like I said I'm gonna leave this on for at least an hour if not slightly more and I'll put you on a time lapse as I apply it and then I will touch base once it's all on to let you know how it is I then jump back on before I go to wash it off to let you know how it's dried on my hair and my initial thoughts before I give you my final thoughts. So that is now all applied to my hair. I will just show you a close up of how much product I've used. I feel like it's always very interesting to see how much of a product I use because I have long hair. Um, but I think I've used about a third of that. So I have about two uses left, which isn't bad for the price at all. Obviously I have bigger hair masks whereby I'll get a lot more uses out of them, but this is a great alternative if you are looking for something that's easily available on the high street or on Amazon yeah i've used about a third of that and obviously if you have shorter hair than mine obviously i have quite long hair then i'm sure this product will go even further with you but i'm not too mad at that and that works out basically like two pound an application which is really good value now that the product is on my hair the smell isn't too bad i just really don't like coconut scented products however this isn't so bad now it's in my hair it just smells like coconut oil which is that more subtle smell and i also wanted to mention before i forget there's no parabens or sulfates in this product which is really Really, really great and something to definitely look out for when you're looking at finding affordable hair care so I'm gonna leave this on for at least an hour I will touch base before I go to wash it out and I'll let you know how it's kind of dried over that time and then I'll let you know my final thoughts at the end of this video okay it's now been an hour and my hair has had the product in just waiting until it's time to wash it out and I feel like my hair has gone a little bit stiff um, I feel like, especially if you sleep in this, as it does say you can do, I just feel like this would be very uncomfortable and be really like dry and stiff. So I just thought I'd mention that because I don't find that the case after one hour with other products. And so yeah, I just thought I would touch on that because it's slightly different to, I think the latest one that I've really liked is the Fanola one. So I'll leave that linked above and down below because it's really affordable and you get so much product. Um, but yeah, I'm really interested to see how this does work on my hair because I love coconut oil. And I'm thinking about doing a video specifically specifically on coconut oil and like how it works overnight for example so if you'd like to see that do let me know but I'm gonna now wash this out of my hair and as always I will jump back on once it's nice and dry so I can show you the after results and talk you through my review and let you know how it compares to other affordable hair care I've tried on my channel so I'll see you guys in a second my hair is now nice and dry and this is the finished result let me just get a little bit closer so you can see how my hair is looking and like i said i'm gonna be getting it cut very soon because these ends need to go um but yeah this is what the mask has done for my hair so I wasn't particularly sure at first, but I feel like the end results really speak for themselves. My hair just feels and looks very, very soft and hydrated and moisturized. And that is definitely down to the coconut oil in this product. Coconut oil is a fantastic ingredient in hair care, not only if your hair is dry and damaged, but also if you're just looking to maintain its health. It's never a bad idea to incorporate coconut oil into your hair care routine and a product like this means that you can do it very very easily that said buying coconut oil is also very affordable so it's definitely something i'd recommend giving a go however for something that's already in mask form and it's obviously a little bit easier and less messy then these are the results and genuinely i feel like my hair looks amazing i feel like this is definitely a really good 
hair mask choice if you're able to get it because my hair just looks and feels fantastic it's super shiny it looks like it's got a bit more volume to it as well which i really really like now i'll be really interested to try it in all the other ways it suggests and i'm definitely going to do that and as i do at the end of every single month i always run down my empty products that i've used up that month so what i'll do is once i finish this up i'll give it a mini review there because i don't want to bore you with doing another video but i definitely think that this has done wonders for my hair i really love the outcome i know that if i straightened my hair it would look a little bit more dramatic but this is my hair just naturally how it's dried and i'm really really impressed i'm really really happy with it i feel like it's just got so much bounce and when i brushed my hair as soon as it was gearing more towards the drier side it was so easy to comb through and again that's down to the coconut oil so i definitely want to do a video dedicated to just coconut oil on my hair because i feel like that's going to show you how many qualities you can get from just using that oil but as a hair mask that is really affordable and really easily available to I would definitely recommend this guy. Not only is it really affordable, but I will also get about three uses out of this product and that's someone with a very long hair. So even if you have shorter hair, you're gonna get double the amount of uses out of this product compared to me, which is so, so good and makes it a really affordable option per use. So yeah, I am very, very impressed. I'm very happy with the end result. So I'll be really interested to see what you think too. So let me know down below what you think. Do you think that my hair looks particularly shiny right now? Do you prefer the outcome I got with a different mask? Do let me know because I'd be really interested to hear your opinion. With that said, let me know down below if there's any hair products you'd really like me to try. I have absolutely loved trying so many different hair masks, but now it's time to get your recommendations because I'm kind of running out of my own collection and so I'm looking to try other stuff. So do let me know if you have a favourite product or one you're curious for me to try before you buy. And that's everything from me in today's video. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel grow and it shows my videos to new people. Don't forget to subscribe if you really enjoy hair care videos much like this and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!